there are tons of women who are being sold in marriage, who are being forced into child marriages, there's human trafficking, there's all sorts of abuse going on and you want to focus on freeing the nipple? Welcome back to my channel guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. So what are we doing today? Today I'm going to be answering all your assumptions about me. I'm about to answer those questions so you know that like the idea you have of me in your head does it match like who I am yeah. Anyway let's get to it. So the first one is that I am not South African. Guys I don't know what it is about this one. I have so many people telling me all the time that I don't look South African. People think I'm Congolese, which I think is a compliment because I think Congolese women and people in general are some of the most beautiful people in the whole, like they're so gorgeous. They have that thing. So if y'all are out here thinking I'm Congolese, like thank you for thinking I'm gorgeous. Like darling, darling, thanks. <laughs> Yeah guys, no, I am South African. My mom is South African. My dad is South African. They are from Limpopo, guys. Inside, inside, deep, 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 deep in the village, deep, 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 deep. You know, you get me, bruv. Um, and they're both Tsonga. So really, I'm as South African as can be. Not, I, I'm, I'm, I'm from Limpopo, guys. Like, I'm really South African. Um, and to my knowledge, I don't have any foreign blood in me. Okay, the next one says, when I saw you dancing, I thought you were very pretty and that you had a big butt. Oh, stop it, me? Oh my goodness, Lock. Oh, you think I'm pretty? Do you think I'm gorgeous, bro? <laughs> you think I'm cute? <laughs> I mean, Lock. <laughs> No man, um, thank you. I, I appreciate that. I mean, I guess that's not an assumption. That's just what you saw. But um, thank you. I appreciate it. I get it from my mama and I, and I do squats. I work out once a month. Consistently once a month because consistency is key. So like, uh, yeah. But I mean, thanks. Next assumption people have about me is that I am only interested in foreign men. Hmm. Hmm. To bust this myth or to prove or disprove it. That's that's not true. I I am I'm very open-minded and I am willing to I would be willing to be with any man who identifies as a man from any country. I don't care what country he's from. South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, you know, Cameroon or America or England or Australia or I, I, I have no preference. I, I, I'm not just attracted to foreign men and I'm not just attracted to South African men or whatever. I'm attracted to men as a whole, like in general. So when the time does come where I do decide to get a partner, it will all just be based on who they are what their personality is, you know, and their love of God and their love for God. Anything else doesn't really matter. The next assumption, which is kind of similar to the last one, is that I only date black men or I'm only interested in black men. I'm guessing you came to this conclusion based on my story post when I post black love or whatever. I love black love, guys. I like black men. I like black love. Um, my first line of interest, like when I when I see attractive human beings, I first, like black people are evidently, obviously attractive to me. You know, when I look at a group of men, diver, like a diverse group, um, my eyes strike the black men first. Naturally, I like black men and I want black love. But I would not say that I'm only dedicated to dating black men as much as I'm willing to date a man from any country or marry a man from any country I'm also willing to be with a man who is of any other race black Indian white Hispanic 
I don't care. It's it's all based on the God in him and who he is and stuff like that. So the point is shoot your shot. Like shoot like shoot it. Like shoot it. Unless you're someone's father, then don't. But otherwise, or if you have a wife, then don't. Otherwise. The next one is one that I got from quite a few people that I am an extreme feminist. Um, actually I don't define myself as a feminist. I care a lot about women and women's rights and I care about children and, uh, but I, I still, I, I wouldn't say I'm a feminist. The reason why I wouldn't define myself as a feminist is because I don't really like how some feminists do their things. like. I don't understand how a movement that is about women can be centered around men. So instead of trying to empower women, you're trying to bring down men and disempower men. You know what I mean? I mean, bringing down men is not bringing us up any higher. You know what I mean? And I also think that there are tons of women who are being sold in marriage, who are being forced into child marriages. There's human trafficking. There's all sorts of abuse going on and you want to focus on freeing the nipple? Like, I, I, I just can't, I just, like, <laughs> I, I watch all these documentaries and I read about women being kidnapped and all these things and you want to tell me that I should be allowed to walk around shirtless because men do it? That's not what's important right now. That's not the most important thing. Let's free these girls. Let's save them from freaking female uh, circumcision. Let's let's save them from being kidnapped. Let's, let's work on the bigger issues. Let's work on equal pay and discrimination in the workplace and the belief that a woman can surely not be, that's bad English, but cannot be a, a businesswoman and a mother and a wife but she has to choose and let's talk about the important things and not freeing the nipple or saying that men are trash and blah 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 and also running away from accountability i can already hear bong and plan from the juice yeah yeah account women and accountability but really let's talk about accountability for our actions and taking responsibility let's talk about how we should be telling ourselves and our children and our sisters and our friends to stop hitting men as well but i just have to say women are powerful they're multiplying they're intelligent there's nothing that women cannot do you know women are powerful they're strong both physically intellectually and emotionally I mean to break it down into simple terms anyone who can bleed consistently every month and if you don't bleed good luck sis <laughs> but consistently every month and live to tell the tale come on brethren come on bruv anyway but I'm not a feminist <laughs> The next assumption is that I do not know my mother tongue. That is absolutely false. That is absolutely not true. I do know my mother tongue. My mother tongue is Tonga. I am a Tonga woman. Only thing is, wow, I cannot. Shibelani is just, it's above me. I try and I'm still trying. And I, I just, you know, my cousin said they're gonna teach me. I'm like, they're kind of slacking guys. And like, you know, lock. I wanna get married one day and laugh, you know? <laughs> but um, no, I can not speak my mother tongue and I do speak my mother tongue at home with my parents um, yeah no the next assumption and this one hacks me I'm gonna read two of them because they're more or less the same thing the one says you are a stuck-up rich girl and the other one says I thought you were some rich ass spoiled brat but then you're chilled <laughs> um, this assumption really grinds my potatoes like it really just you know, I hate it because this is a label that people place onto me by choice. I do not walk around saying I'm rich and lock. I got this and I got that. Um, if you go to my Instagram, it's mainly just pictures of me and I don't, you know what I mean? It's not like I don't post, how do I say this? Like, you know, those pages that post you know like the things that they have on purpose and to show you and to show off that's not the kind of page i have you will see my selfies you will see my god posts you will see my youtube content and you will see general pictures of me and my travel pictures so the idea that you that i am a rich spoiled brat i really think people look on instagram and decide for me you know they they come up with that assumption for themselves and that's not a reflection of me no 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 babe that's a reflection of you 
<laughs> that's that's all you you and the assumption that you came up with in regards to me is your business that is absolutely your business and i think this is really a hating spirit but when you see someone who you believe has money you automatically come to the assumption that they're spoiled and i feel like there's an underlying bitterness and underlying jealousy and underlying like it's not from a good place to naturally have that assumption about someone you know because you see them as having maybe in abundance or they're blessed or whatever that you think that they're spoiled are you okay and the person hasn't said anything to make you think that are you okay you know but to bust the assumption or the myth I am not a crazy rich as spoiled brat I'm not rich guys first of all um, and what else I currently have like what I have three jobs right now to make money so does that sound like a crazy rich spoiled brat to you I got three jobs like Chris's dad well I don't need this my husband has two jobs I don't need to be here right now I would appreciate if people didn't throw that on to me you know assuming that I'm a horrible person because you think I've got money therefore I must be a horrible person and assuming that I do have money and I I definitely don't go around saying do you know I'm rich I'm rich hey 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 you. hey hello do you know that I'm rich I'm rich the next one is that I am super quiet serious and antisocial okay so now this assumption is coming from someone who knows me from church and like when I go to church guys I just go there I do what I gotta do and I bounce let's break it down am I a serious person yes I am quite a serious person but it depends I'm not serious all the time I love jokes I love pranks I'm a regular person I'm extremely funny I would be a comedian if this whole thing doesn't work out I've you know what I mean but anyway um, I'm serious when I need to be I'm serious about topics like but I'm not serious as a whole overall I'm actually quite a clown um, am I antisocial? I am an antisocial socialite. It's the craziest thing ever. I am a socialite. You know, I love socializing. I love meeting new people, but I'm very antisocial. Sometimes I like there's not a damn thing I will not do to avoid saying hi or having a conversation. But I'm also the same person who goes up to. I'm not scared of going to anyone, anywhere, and being like, "Hi, how are you? Subscribe to my channel. I'm a YouTuber. Let me do it for you. Like, I'm a, give me your Instagram." And I'm just. It depends on the day. It depends on the mood. But I am perfectly both. Right now, I'm in an antisocial stage in my life where I haven't been socializing. I'm always just isolated. Um, it be like that so the next one is I felt that you had a godly connection and it seemed cool um, thank you thank you so much like I do have a godly connection guys I'm God's favorite honestly let me tell you I'm sorry if you didn't know I'm sorry if you got to find out this way but yeah um, I love God and if you follow me on Instagram guys follow me on Instagram you'll see that I love God this he's the center of all my posts are all God inspired Jesus based type posts God is the center of my whole life and I always try to get to know him more I always try to be a better person in him and you know develop my relationship with him I fall short like everyone but I'm I'm trying my best and his grace is very sufficient for me Okay guys, so the very last part that I'm gonna talk about, it got dark outside, so the lights probably shifted, I think, I don't know. But anyway, the last part that we're gonna talk about is the giveaway. <laughs> I am going to be doing a giveaway of two $25 Amazon gift cards. Now, I just want to say, I don't know why. <laughs> this is not sponsored by Amazon. This is not sponsored by anyone. It's sponsored by me. Sponsored by God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But um, two $25 Amazon gift cards, and this is how the competition is going to go. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! 
need to be a part of the revolution. And what does that mean? That means that you need to be subscribed to my channel. The second thing is you need to bring two other people to join the revolution. So you need to bring two people to subscribe to the channel and proof that you've brought two people is the two people that you get to subscribe, they need to comment under the video that I did of pranking my mom, the I'm pregnant prank on my mom. Yeah, the two people you bring need to comment under that specific video and say that um, Don Bizotto brought me here or John brought me here. Like they need to specify your name and say that you are the one that brought them here. Last but not least, you need to share my channel on your social media. So if, on, if it's on Instagram, you can share it on your story. And if it's on Twitter, you can just tweet it. You don't have to, um, on, okay, in terms of Instagram, you don't have to post it on your feed or anything. A post on your story is perfectly fine for Instagram and a tweet on Twitter is perfectly fine as well. So you need to share one of the thumbnails, okay, one of the thumbnails or, or short clip or whatever you want to share from my channel and tag me in it and you need to say one reason give one reason why you love my channel. So ladies and gentlemen, how long am I going to be doing this for? I am going to announce the winner on December 4th. The giveaway starts this week and you have next week to do it as well. And the third week, December 4th, I am going to be announcing the two winners. I don't really believe in luck, but you know, if you do good luck to you. May the force be with you. And um, honestly, I hope you win. May the best man, woman, or non-gender conforming human being win. That's it for today, guys. I absolutely hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I will be back with more videos. Peace and love, guys.